This is a story of Abby, the Preset Cat. My name is Abby and I'm a teeny tiny cat living somewhere here. Yes, this is our home and me and my mom are living here. And to be honest, I'm really worried about my mom. But I trust my mom. When I see strangers, I hide as well as I can under the cabinets or inside the bed. Our home is full of trash and I don't know why. There's also me and my mom's hair everywhere. This is a lady who came to our house to do something. I don't know what and I'm really scared. Our floors are really soft because there are a lot of mom's clothes on them. But there is also a lot of leftover food and snacks all over the place. These rotten food smells really bad, but I'm used to it. There's also a lot of bugs and maggots and some spiders also. Do you want to hear my whole story? Coming up in this video. Okay guys, let's start cleaning this bathroom, because the living room is the dirtiest and the best place in this apartment and I want to clean it last. Yes, teeny tiny Abby is living here somewhere. I think she is in the living room. Her mom Katie told me that Abby is really scared of new people and mm, I believe that she is hiding there somewhere, really scared. Let's talk a little bit about the animals in these apartments. By the way, before that, this sink was so clogged, so I had to empty, empty it and then I screw it open and now it's open so I can clean it. I don't know what is in there, but I can't get it out. But yeah, animals in these apartments. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably seen that some of these people have animals and pets. Mostly cats, sometimes dogs and bunnies. Animals are usually the light of their lives for these people. Like for example to this resident Katie, for whom Abby is like a friend. But if I'm being honest, of course, it is super sad to see animals living in dirty homes. But even here I noticed that Abby had clean water and food all the time. And I also changed the water for her myself. I also believe that cats cope a little better in a messy home than dogs, even though they are clean animals. Hmm. It is also nice to clean these apartments for animals and often the cats are really amazed after cleaning. They are just walking around like they don't recognize their home anymore. <laughs> it is so funny. Abby and Katie have lived here for over three years. And Katie has been depressed almost her entire life. Because I heard that her cat Abby is really scared, I named this place Depressed Cat. Because maybe Abby is also a little discouraged in this home. I also believe that animals sense their owner's emotional states. In last week's video where I clean Katie's kitchen, I told you that Katie is 25 years old. She lives here alone with Abby and works three shifts in the retail industry. And she has suffered from depression almost her entire life. I talked to her for a long time and she really doesn't even know what it feels like to be healthy or what it feels like to be not healthy. 
feeling sick and tired almost all the time. All her energy goes into working. She also has some friends and a few relationships behind her, but even her friends haven't really been able to help her. However, it is great that she has friends and I felt that she was easy to talk to. It's also great that she works and considers it one of the reinforcements of everyday life. And because cleaning is so easy to me, I'm glad to help her. I know when you are really depressed, you don't have that much energy and you don't even know where to start cleaning like this. For me, this is super easy, so why wouldn't I help them? <laughs> I also enjoy seeing these transformations. I love to see a thick layers of dust, stains, grime, everything, trashes. It's just pure joy for me. The tougher the stain is, the more I get joy from it when I remove it. It is so, so satisfying. Feels like I can control the life around me. I can decide whether that stains, goes or leaves. By the way, what is your favorite part of cleaning your bathroom? <laughs> Mine is floor because I love to do different kind of patterns with the foam and it is just so satisfying or maybe the sink if the sink is really dirty then it's the sink yeah washing the sink it is mm, so lovely but back to katie katie sent me an email saying she's getting evicted if the home isn't clean at the end of this month but many of the people i help fear had happened to her. The housing association had had some kind of renovation or inspection and the maintenance men had entered Katie's apartment in this apartment and they had seen it all. They had immediately reported the condition of the apartment and Katie had received an eviction threat if she did not clean the apartment right away. I believe that it has felt really shameful when outsiders have come into this apartment and seen your secret nightmare. That is like most common fear of my clients. But on the other hand, when it came to the light, Katie dared to ask for my help. So here I am. In Finland it is super nice because we have these floor drains so I can freely wash everything in this bathroom like literally everything or I can rinse everything that's what I meant <laughs> it is super much easier in that way I don't know why because I have been cleaning in Switzerland in the US in the UK and they don't have floor drains like this I also have been cleaning in Sweden and they do have floor, floor drains, so it's weird. <laughs> because when I was little and my mom taught me how to clean a toilet and we didn't have a floor drain there. Like of course we had a floor drain in our bathroom, but we didn't have a floor drain in our second uh, toilet. So I decided when I grew up in my house, there is always floor drains in every bathroom and toilet. <laughs> because it makes cleaning so much easier. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are getting closer to the living room. It's super amazing. Here's my brother, Sandri. He's helping me. And first we are collecting all the dirty clothes and there is a lot of dirty clothes in here. But where is Abby? Oh, I forgot to mention that Katie said that she has lost her keys and we found them! 
I was so happy. I immediately texted to her like, is this your key? And she was like, yes, it is. Oh my God. E it's so nice to find something if the, if the house owner or resident is missing something and I found it. I'm so happy. So happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Okay, I think this bed should be together. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. But yeah, this bed should be together. So, and the mattress should be on top of them. Yes, yeah, so let's take all the trusses between them and let's put them together. Are you ready to see what's under there? Because I am! Oh, so much trash! <laughs> I just love when I can lift up the sofas or beds and see what's under there. It's like... Mm, how can I explain it? It's like trash treasures. Wow! Looks amazing! Now we are having... <laughs> random fun here we are taking some pictures do you want some pizza mm, yummy <laughs> moldy pizza ah I love it <laughs> we are doing some posing great pictures by the way <laughs> and yes we sat on pizza boxes there was some spiders and everything but I don't care anymore I have seen it all hey check out this a snow shovel again I think last time when I used it it was in horror house maybe <laughs> oh, a beautiful place that was okay guys I named these dips these are Mold Madness, Disgust Dip, Warm Goo, and Ranchid Ranch. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? But hey, I still haven't seen Abby. Hmm, I wonder where is she? Okay, this table has some stains, so I'm using Sinis Kitchen Cleaner. If you have some kind of food stains or anything like that, you can use kitchen kitchen cleaner and like scrape all the dried food off. If you don't want to use a scraper, you just have to wait. So give it a time and time will soften the food stains. Here I'm using Steel Daddy really gently because it scratches the surface if I'm using it too hard. Time to put the beds back. I also went to shopping and I bought new sheets, new pillows and everything for Katie. And also Katie didn't have any lights in this apartment, like any. So my brother Sandri, uh, I bought the lights and my brother Sandri installed them. I think I'm gonna show you second when he installs them but it was super nice it's already looking so great let's put this mattress on I think this bed is it's quite clean it's looking really nice it's big and now it has a clean sheets on it so oh look at this color guys oh I mean do I love it yes I do it's like oh it is super nice
time to clean the floor, there were some tiny details that I scraped off. Ooh, look at you. Goodbye. <laughs> Have you guys tried this dust ward? It is amazing. I love it. <laughs> now, Sandari changed the cat leader. We went to buy new cat leader. Here it is. Let's put it there. Mm hmm. For Abby. I said to Sandri that it's still dirty, so Sandri is going to wash it with kitchen cleaner. Scrub it hard, yes. Looking good, yes. Sandri can clean. He knows how to clean. Because our mom. Uh, has a cleaning company, so she has taught both of us. Good job! <laughs> now only tiny details. This rug looks Perfect. Oh, there was like maybe 10 or 15 bags of clothes, so quite many. <laughs> this table is looking good. We bought some flowers and plants. Hmm. Then I discovered there's still dust in here. And by the way, Abby was under this cabinet. She was so scared and I didn't film her at all, but she's there, she's safe. Hmm. And sometimes when I was in the kitchen, she came there to eat and drink, so it, it was super nice. But hey guys, now the home is done! And most importantly, now Katie won't get evicted. She must be super happy. <laughs> this cleaning was, whoa, one of my favorite ones. Enjoy the before and after pictures and we will see you next week. <laughs> bye bye.